Hey everybody. Yeah, I'm in my room. Yeah, I'm in my head wrap. I not, just got up not too long ago. Anyway, playing with my makeup. This is Heatherette Trio 1. That I'm going to show you guys what I did today. So you can zoom in on my eyeballs so you can see it. Came out okay. I think I like it. So... A lot of people were saying to use um, Rollican paint pot. I don't have Rollican. I have Otherworldly that came out with the McQueen collection. So I'm going to use that as my base. So I'll show you what I'm going to do. It's going to look kind of scary, but it'll work out in the long run. And right now I'm using a 252 that I got with Novel Twist. I'm sure 242 would work just as well, but this is just covering a little more area. Just a little quicker. So now that you've got your super blue base on, I'm going to go ahead and grab uh, the middle one. I'm going to put that on top. Now the funny thing is, when you put this on top, it just gives the matte paint pot a little bit more shimmer. But don't fret. We're going to get that nice blended look once we put the middle, the darker color on top of it. Um. my little clean up right here now what I did was I have the angle 275 I'm going to use the darker color it's black with these blue shimmers in it which looks really pretty I'm just going to put that in the corner and in the crease and bring it all around Can you see it I'm bringing it up to the to my eye, my brow bone area, trying to make a V type shape. I'm bringing it all the way down to the corners of the eye. This is what you'll look like. Then we get our blending brush, and what I did was swept it all the way across, all across the blue, stayed in my crease, because I wanted the blue to have a, a darker effect, so I just swept some more of the dark color. I'm still not sure what the names are yet, so bear with me. So what we have here is a nice dark brow very dark lid now with the blue peeking through see how much we toned that down because it was looking kind of scary with just the otherworldly paint pot on didn't it I know you guys are like what the hell is she about to do okay let's see if we can get this in a little bit now for the brow bone I'm going to use the pink color. That one right there. And I used my small Maxine's mop just to pat it on in that area. Because I just want it on the brow bone. Right in the upper arch area. And then once again, blend it, blend it, blend it. Harsh lines are not a sexy look for us. It's, it's, not, it's just not a sexy look. Okay. Now being that I just tweezed my eyebrows, I used the, um, where is it? Use my brow finisher just to go ahead and smooth down the hairs. So, 
and smooth down the flyaways. I know our eyebrows are sisters and not twins, but this one stops way shorter than over here. But with the magic of my Milani eye pencil, we're going to make that even. I'm going to draw this down. And then fill out the little bits in here. Can't fill them in too much because you don't want to look like a, a clown or anything. And then I just went ahead and bring it on down. Next, I'm going to line my eyes with my uh, H2O liner. The stuff I'm in love with. I think sometimes I'm good with the liner, sometimes I'm not. Now we have lined eyes. Next, I'm get my CoverGirl Lash Blast, which I love and probably running out soon. So it's time to go back for more. Which means another trip to Target, my favorite store. And there goes the eyes. Zoom in one more time so you guys can see the eyes. Now, I guess I'll go ahead and do a little foundation. What I've done is I took my own foundation out and put it into one of these little lotion bottles. Because basically, I'm a klutz, I don't want the glass to break. So I just pump a little bit on my hand. I use the 187 SE and I got it all on then I go ahead and swirl it on I really like this stuff I have like probably three backups of it because I saw it was on on clearance at Rite Aid. It was 50 off, so I figure they must be about to get rid of this stuff. So let me grab it like I grabbed those L'Oreal hip eye extender things. They're not as cheap as those were, but six dollars for the foundation couldn't go wrong. Then I like to go ahead and just buff it out a little bit more with my 182 next I'm gonna go ahead and use what lipstick I'm gonna use I'm gonna use Starlet Kiss again that came out pretty yesterday I'm just gonna go ahead and and that's it I guess I'll put a little bit of color on my cheeks I'm just gonna go ahead and use hipness right now I'm using a contour brush from essence of beauty 
just to get a little concentrated color right there on the cheeks. You guys can ever see my, my blush on the film. Anyway, that's it. Just a look. See you guys later.